Hello buddy, what is up? My name is Shakes. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your FPS in the Halo Master Chief Collection. Yes, I am a month late, but you know, if you've been on this channel for a while, you probably know that's how I do things. Sorry. But anyway, after many long months waiting, we have finally got it. And as far as major game releases go, it has had a pretty solid one. You know, most games release with a lot of bugs or, you know, they have major multiplayer issues. This one has had a pretty solid launch, so now a lot of people want to know how to get your FPS up. The game seems to be pretty well optimized, good job on their team, but you know, you can't really expect everybody to have great PCs or even good PCs so this is gonna be for everybody who doesn't have the best PC or you just want more FPS because overall it is a pretty competitive game and you're going to want as much FPS as possible so you just have the most smooth and therefore enjoyable experience over it just looking really nice and running like you're playing on a toaster but anyway let's just get into it and if this does help you maybe like and possibly subscribe if you want to you know, if it does help you, if it doesn't, you can try to kill me. That's all right with me. Totally okay. So anyway, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your browser. Oh, well, we, we have, that's how you have YouTube open, I expect. But just go into the link in the description. It's going to be razor.com slash cortex slash boost. And then download this little thing. Once you click your download now, it's going to download pretty quickly. You're going to open it up. Click yes if it asks. You know, it's not anything bad for your computer. And once this window opens up, just make sure Razer Cortex is checked and Razer Synapsis isn't checked, unless you already have Razer products and you want them to light up in cool little flashy ways. But otherwise, just make sure Razer Cortex is checked, because that's all we're going to need for this video. And if you want to change your install location from, you know, your program files, then you can just click on this, and then change it to wherever you want. I'm just going to change it to my program files, because this is where I like to save things. So then you can select folder and then install. But you don't have to do that if you like where it's installing already. And then it's going to begin its download. Now it downloads and installs really really quickly I don't know why it downloads as quickly I don't know maybe they optimize it really well but overall it downloads way quicker than it normally would so maybe that's going to happen for you so you shouldn't have to wait too long after downloading it might take a little bit of time to install and after that's done all you have to do is make sure this is checked let launch Razer Cortex and then click get started you can close out your browser we do not need this anymore and then once this is opening up it's going to ask you to uh, log in or sign up now we don't actually have to do this there's this little you know, thing kind of tucked away. It says continue as guest. That's what we're going to do. We don't want to make really an account with Razer unless you want to do that, but I, I don't think it's really needed. And just click on the Razer Cortex thing on your taskbar because sometimes it doesn't properly open up. So just click on that from your taskbar, then continue as a guest. It's going to ask us again to use our Razer ID. But that's pretty pointless for us. We just want to use this program. So continue as guest, and then you can close out of this. We don't really care about the features and whatever that is. And then click on, uh, you know, you just find and then find Halo Master Chief Collection or whatever game you really want to play. Maybe you want to play something else now Now that you're you're bored with Halo because you're like, oh, I can't run that, I'm just going to play something else. You can do that. But for us, we are going to click Halo Master Chief Collection, click play, and then you're going to see in the bottom right corner, it's going to be optimizing you know, a few of our programs in the background and giving us extra RAM so we can use more of that for the game so the game can overall run way, way better. Now, already your Master Chief Collection experience should be faster, it should be more optimized, but if it still isn't, then the next thing we're going to do will definitely help you out a bit more just go to options and career then go to settings then go to video scroll down and then look at graphics quality and change it from enhanced or original change it from those and make it performance so this is going to make the game you know it's graphics going to be more performance based so it's not going to have as many polygons but it's going to run considerably better on your computer also if the frame rate limit is on 60 or something just make sure it's on unlimited so your you know your computer can push as much frames into the game as possible so you have as high fps as you need Make sure VSync is off. VSync never really helps, in my opinion, and just, you know, it limits your frames and makes the game feel weird, so just don't really use VSync. And for window mode, make sure you're on full screen over windowed or borderless windowed because, you know, full screen takes up more power in your PC when you alt tab takes longer. That's because, you know, there's more power going into the game generally, so it just is going to allow you to have higher frames instead of just being another window. And then for resolution settings, this is going to have a pretty big impact on your FPS, so listen closely, click the left arrow, and you're going to have a thousand FPS. And jokes aside though, turning down your resolution will have a very, very big effect on your FPS, because having to push, you know, 480 times 640 pixels instead of, you know, 1920 times 1080 is way, way better for your PC, and it's just way easier to push, because there's going to be less pixels for your game to render, and with that, you know, if you have a bad GPU, this is going to be especially useful, seeing as your GPU really is in charge of, you know, rendering the pixels, so overall, if you don't have the best GPU, this will really, really help you, and overall, if you turn it down to 640 by 480, this is a very, very small aspect ratio. Here, I'm going to show you what it looks like. If you want to, you know, uh, change your settings, just click back, and then it's going to ask you to save settings. Click save settings, and that's going to have, you know, it applied, 
and as you can see there are considerably less pixels here you know it's barely even visible to read these things but you're gonna run the game incredibly well like this i think if you're using a 1993 crt and you still want to run modern games on this Good luck with that. I hope you have a wonderful journey trying to squeeze every last dollar out of that ancient piece of technology. But if you have a relatively modern PC or laptop, you know, something made in the last 10 years, then if you follow all the things I've shown you in this video, you're bound to have pretty high FPS and therefore a much more enjoyable experience. And just to show you how it looks and how it feels in my FPS when I turn all these settings down, this is, you know, worst case scenario, what you're going to have to do. However, if you realize that you do have good FPS, I'd recommend changing your resolution and putting it up a little bit because, you know, it's more enjoyable having higher resolution and more pixels. And just try to find the sweet spot of FPS and resolution because that has the biggest effect. And overall, that's a pretty easy way to gauge how much FPS you need and how much, you know, visual fidelity you want. So anyway, as I said, I'm going to use this in game and we're going to see how it looks and uh, see how one Wonderful this experience is and I'll show you my FPS. So here we are queued for a match at 640x480 with the minimum settings. Let's see how this feels to play. And here we are in Slay and let's see how much FPS we can get. The game actually doesn't look that bad. Uh, it looks pretty solid I'd say. And I barely nearly died to that guy. And I died from- what? Who, who killed me? Anyway, let's check our FPS. Uh, I have 381 FPS currently, 350 right now. That is pretty insane for a game like this. And you know, overall, this does not look bad at all to play. And with the FPS that I'm getting, it just feels so smooth, so wonderful. And I think that's going to be the same for you guys too. So uh, just keep that in mind. Anyway though, thank you guys all so much for checking out the video. Like if you liked the video or, you know, it helped you or whatever. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos or you want to join the hype train to a lot of subscribers. That's that's my goal currently, a lot of subscribers. And comment if you have any suggestions. I make pretty much all my videos based on suggestions. So if you have anything you want to see, don't forget to hit me up in the comment section or hit me down because it's down in the comments. It's below the video. You, you, you get the point. I shouldn't have to explain this. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys all so much for checking out the video. Uh, thanks again, guys. See you later. Peace out, guys. Goodbye. I Why did I say goodbye in like eight different ways? Goodbye. See you later. Peace. Bye. Good. Leave.